Ayan, so welcome back guys dito po sa ating uh, YouTube channel. So yun nga, papanoorin po natin ng konti and then uh, magre-react po tayo dito sa video na nilabas. Uh, meron kasing ano eh, nangyari na um, uh, conference or uh, parang ano, telecon dito sa ano sa ating uh, BSC at saka yung ating uh, game na si Plant vs. Undead kasama yung ibang mga games. Uh, pero ang titignan lang natin and then uh, magre-react lang tayo ng konti. Uh, dito po sa mga updates ni Plant uh, vs. Undead kasi mas malinaw to eh uh, kaysa yung mga nabasa ko dito sa Plant vs. Undead kung ano po yung direction na gustong gawin po ng ating mga uh, developer so uh, late, late, lately lang to so nire-record ko to is uh, September 29 so um, siguro makukuha nyo din uh, itong video na to within the same uh, day naman so pwede nyo putahan itong video and then putahan nyo na lang yung pinaka segment nya pero okay lang din naman kasi nire-record natin yung area kung saan po sila uh, nagkaroon ng discussions naman. Ayan, so, meron tayong monthly Star Ama Games and NFT Segment Day. Ayan, so, ito po yung nakita natin na video sa kanya. So, pakinggan po natin yung uh, uh, mga sinabi po ni Mr. Crow, yung pinaka-head po natin uh, dito sa ating uh, developer ng Plant vs. Undead. It's on that. Hello, Mr. Cow. Uh, oh, Mr. Crow. Mr. Crow. Sorry about that. <laughs> hi, hi. That's fine. That's fine. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm actually pretty honored to be here on the field with everyone today. Um, it's such an honor to be one of the candidates for the MVP3. So yeah, I guess it's uh, my turn to introduce. Yeah? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, uh, go ahead. All right. I guess it's my turn, right? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Let me share my screen real quick. Yeah, sure. Um, let me add this. <laughs> yes, uh, here you go. All right. Yeah, so ito yung tanya yung pinaka presentation um, right. uh, so, file. Um, today, I guess so panore natin na maigi. Introduce uh, our project to to people who don't know our project yet. Um, so our game is called Plant vs Undead, right? Or PVU for short. So let's just jump right in. So what is PVU? Um, PVU, in short, is a tower defense strategy game that has the players battle waves of undead by strategically placing the plants onto the battlefield. Um, however, uh, thanks to the blockchain technology, we are able to implement many unique mechanics that don't really exist in traditional gaming. Ayan, so ito, ito pala yung ano, makikita mo dun sa, ano, sa beta phase natin pag tinig na mo po siya. Pag dinownload mo po siya, yan po yung malalaro mo, yung makita natin dito sa ano, sa video natin. Um, so let's talk about the core design behind PVU. Like, why do we make the game? So we focus on two things. As you know, PVU is a game first. So the first thing we focus on is the fun factor. Right? We know, we know in the NFT world, many players will uh, focus a lot more on the financial aspect of our game. Uh, AKA, how do they make money from playing our game? However, um, we as a game designer, we want to make it our mission to make sure that player at least have fun playing our game, rather than just seeing it as a vehicle to make money. You know, um, the second thing we focus a lot more on is accessibility. Basically, we make sure that our game caters to a wide variety of audiences. There should be a little bit of something for everyone who play our game whether they are playing it for profit, uh, playing it to compete with other players, or they're playing it just to relax. We also need to make sure that people who don't have a lot of time and money to spend on our game can still enjoy the game, right? Which is probably the most difficult part with NFT game because uh, most of the time the entry cost for the game dependent on the token price. And we as game distributor, we cannot really control the token price. And it's, it's up to the market. Yeah, so yung, yung token price kasi natin, di ba, bumagsak siya ng bumagsak. So sinabi naman niya, wala po siyang control dito. So, ayan. We, it's, it's a hard mission, but we're still going to try it anyway. Um, and you will see that these two factors, the fun factor and the accessibility, um, drive many of our decisions as we move forward. So now let's talk about uh, what the player can expect from playing our games, right? Um, the three cores of the game is you play, you have fun, and then you earn. Um, it's not really an NFT game without any of these elements. And um, we have three game modes uh, currently, um, farming, 
PVA mode and PVP mode. And all of our game modes will support this uh, model of tokenomic. Let's first talk about uh, the mode that already came out, the farming mode. Farming mode, you can think of it as a playground for players who prefer progression and optimization. Um, basically, it's started as a support mode, like a small part of our game to support the PvP game. But due to the surge in popularity when we uh, released the game in July, we have decided to make this game its own standalone product. Okay, so parang segue lang pala tong, ano, tong farm mode natin. Uh, dinagdag lang siya pero sa sobrang ano ganda niya naging popular kaagad so nag-spike yung ano um, yung prices um, in this mode players can grow plants and if they are not take care of their farm and do daily quests and gain some rewards player can also earn nft in the form of seeds which can be grown into nft plants and as i said this game will become its own product this will happen in december when the biggest update to the game will come out update 3.0 by the way um, which will include even more activities for So medyo sinabi niya no December po yung ano yung ating uh, farm 3.0 yes to do such as fishing mining gathering raising undead um, they can also customize their farm and uh, that is the news for farm mode Moving on to PVA mode, the second mode of our game. Okay, so yung nakita pala natin na, ano, na parang lagi nilang ano, nilalabas sa uh, sneak peek. PVE pala yun guys, yung uh, parang baby plants din yung, ano, yung mga itsura niya, di ba? So nagbago yung itsura natin. So naging hexagonal yung, ano, yung land. Uh, pero dito nga sinabi niya yung mga synergy is mahalaga. So kailangan dapat yung mga NFTs na makukuha natin is halos para-para siya kung light. Pag nagdikit-dikit kasi yung light, meron silang mas malakas na ano na siguro attack mode yan. Yun po yung mga sinasabi niya. Uh, PVA mode, this is where the players actually battle the undead. Right? In this mode, player will build a team of plants uh, to battle the undead in endless mode. Players have only a limited number of slots, as you can see here, 12 slots. So they have to think very carefully where they place their plants on the field. Because if they place them correctly, these plants will create synergy and the stronger the synergy the more undead they can slay and the more undead they can slay the more income they will gain so they they basically have to think a lot when uh, choosing their team and placing Ayan, so kailan talaga yung mga uh, bubuin mo or kung bibili ka sa kanya uh, halos para parehas yung category kasi meron tayong light metallic electro parasite ayan so hindi ko rin naisip to nang una masyado their plans on the field. So how do these two modes work together, right? They, they have to work together somehow. So here's basically the ecosystem for the two modes. In farm mode, you will use your farm to grow your plants, taking care of it. You will improve your plants by gathering materials, by getting uh, fishing, getting um, mining. And then you will use the already improved plants to battle the undead in PVE mode. From the PVA mode, you gain some currency, some income that you can use to upgrade your farms to grow even more plants. So this is basically the core loop of the game that will come out in uh, December this year. Now, what if you don't Ayan, want... so sinabi niyo ulit guys, uh, December this year. So yun talaga yung ano, pinaka uh, main goal nila. Ang, ang ano lang natin dito, syempre... Yung LE conversion mo, tataas at tataas na po siya. So, nagkakaroon ako ng calculation kanina. Pag titignan mo siya, ito kasi yung current na system. 500 LE is to 1 PBU. So, start tayo September. And then, kung uh, December, so ang start ng December is around here. So, 1,200 or 1,300 LE is to 1 PBU na yung palitan natin. So, kaya marami tayong reaction nakita diyan sa ano, sa Facebook page. To play farm mode. What if you don't care about uh, optimizing and you only care about beating up other players? This is where our next mode come in. Uh, the PVP mode. Oops. Okay, so PVP mode uh, as an instance. Ayan, so ito po yung ating PVP mode. Player versus player which is parating ngayong October yung kanyang beta. Pero yung complete na set nila, yung ating uh, Farm 3.0 sa yung final ng PVP, December din po yung, ano, yung labas niya. 
basically for the most hardcore players, right? For the competitive crowd. Similarly, in gameplay to PvE mode, you will use your plans to battle endless wave of undead. However, the twist here is that your opponent will be doing the exact same thing. And your opponent can interfere with your battling process by spawning more undead on your field or disable your plans. Obviously, there are ways for you to prevent this, and you can also do the same thing to your opponent. This constant back and forth interaction is what diverges this mode from the other two and what makes it so competitive and nerve-wracking. Since this game mode, PvP will be its own game, we plan to build an esports scene for players in this mode, in which only the top of the top players, the top 1%, will be able to battle in terms of a tournament, and they will gain even bigger prizes. Um, I know this was a lot of information, so if you want to learn more about us, you can visit our website at worldwideweb.planversusundead.com. Um, on here, you can find a demo version for our game. You can test it out for yourself. You can also join our uh, Discord um, and Telegram channel to uh, keep yourself up to date with our game. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for, for me okay. today. So my question, Shana, is Yeah, okay. thank you, Mr. Crow. Uh, let's jump to the question part. Uh, regarding to the coming big update from 3.0, how are you going to make the future economy more stable and avoid economic problems encountered by other games? Yeah, that, that's a pretty good question. Uh, pretty loaded question, by the way. But in 3.0, as I um, explained earlier, PVE mode and farm mode will go together. Go, they basically go hand in hand, right? Uh, PVE mode will be your main ways to get your income, right? Basically, how you're going to cash out some PVU. But in order to do that, you need to have a sufficiently strong plan and if you want to have a strong plans, you basically have to play farm mode. You have to go gather materials. You have to constantly take care of your plans to make it stronger. And then once you go with PV PVE, you can gain some PVU from that. But then if you just use your PVU to cash out, you will never improve your farm. Yeah. Your farm will stay So yung mga, ano, yung mga, pag nag-TP ka kagad sa kanya, wala ka pang upgrade ng farm. So hindi ka makakabuo ng mga NFTs, hindi ka... Uh, yun, siguro makakabili ng mga mas magandang plants. Hindi ka makaka-advance so, sa PBE mode. I guess. So that if you want to become even stronger and make even more PBU from the game, you can you, you need to improve your farm constantly. That's basically the gist of it. Okay. So, yun lang muna yung updates natin dito, guys. So, mas malino na po uh, yung direction na gusto gawin ng ating uh, devs. So nakita na natin yung PVP, uh, yung target nila sa PB is December. Tapos uh, yung beta test po ng ating uh, uh, player versus player is yun nga around uh, mid pa rin naman ng, ano, ng October. And then later on sabay sila, uh, yung pinaka-final version is around December. So ang expectation, yung ating uh, uh, LE to PBO con uh, conversion is tataas pa. So mas kukunti yung makukuha mo kung cash out ka lang ng cash out ng uh, light energy naman sa kanya. Ayan, so sana nakatulong tong uh, video na nakuha natin. So punta mo lang yung ano, yung pinaka YouTube natin dito sa ano, uh, dito sa ating uh, community. So pwede mo nang pan panoorin. Actually hindi lang naman si PBO yung ano, yung uh, in interview dito. Marami din na ano ibang uh, NFTs na upcoming. So maganda makita kasi nga ito yung mga ano, mga promising na ano na mga NFTs na uh, pinapakita ng ito uh, yung sponsor natin dito si Jeff Shang uh, Binance Smart Chain uh, Community Manager so kaya maganda tong, ano tong meeting na ginagawa naman nila okay po so yun lang maraming salamat po sa yung panunood sana nakatulong yung information at uh, please don't forget to subscribe dito po sa ating uh, Palawi Trader na crypto channel naman okay